All right, guys, welcome to episode 155 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and today we have a very special guest. ABEC music is in the motherfucking building. Y'all make some noise. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, like, and sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. But yeah, man, we're back. How y'all feeling, boys? How we feeling? How we feeling? How we feeling? I'm fucking ripped. Yeah. <laughs> Straight to it, bro. Fucking rip, man. <laughs> Hanging out. This fucking contact high in there. Word, yeah, bro. It's, it's some dope going around, you know what I mean? But now nah, we're glad that you can make it, brother. We appreciate you, man. Sure, we know bro. that, you know, you're a busy man, so always appreciative of people that make it through and make time for us. Man. Yeah. Round of applause. Making it on time, too. I'm always Straight on up. time. Making up, that's beautiful. Yeah, man. It's beautiful. But let's get straight into it, man. So you are a music producer, correct? I'm everything, man. You're everything. I love I it, write, bro. I perform, love it. Perform, sing, rap, That's awesome, trap, man. That's rap. awesome. <laughs> does it all. That's everything, what's up, bro. Man. That's what's up, man. So how early would you say that you really got, you know, into the music scene? I think, like, I started rapping and shit when I was, like, at least 11, 12. Mm, like, just writing rhymes and writing, shit? Writing, recording on my MP3. Yeah. Because, you know, the MP3 back in the day had a mic on the back yeah, of it. And shit. Yeah. The little iPods did, too, yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. So I would play the music, like, whatever instrumental from the speakers of my PC at home and just record one take on a fucking MP3, and that was it. Bounce that bitch like that. Facts. Just yeah, I remember doing shit like that too. Yeah, like you try to get the whole song done in one go and shit. Absolutely. You know what I mean? One like, take Timmy. It was different. Yeah, one take Drake, dog. You know what I mean? You had to get it done. You had to get so it I done. Started, That's what's up, though. Started doing that shit, man. And then fucking just over time, I started saving money, buying equipment, getting better at the craft. You know, take a long fucking time, as you know, Facts. to even Facts. get like comfortable with yourself recording. So it was like. Mm hmm. Took me at least like seven, eight years to finally put a decent fucking product out. Right. <laughs> like mix wise and everything. Yeah. So then like 2018 was when it, it started becoming a career for me, like dropping EPs. I signed a deal in 2018 and then like, you know, we worked through that shit. You start really learning the game and shit. And then everything just been up since, man. Just. That's fucking dope, trying to man. level it all up. Yeah, that's I, dope. I, I seen you drop that music video. Was it in Miami? Oh yeah, that was shot in Miami out there in Wynwood, man. Yeah, that that's what's up, man. That shit looked dope. That yeah, was bro. Bad, bro. Listen, and and that's the thing, bro. Like, you know, for the people out there that are wondering, you know, like, am I doing the right thing? How long does it take? You know what I'm saying? That right there is powerful, bro. Because you just heard the man say it took him seven years. You know yeah, what I'm bro. saying to be able to actually get. A quality product together Right And that's what it takes man You gotta work on the craft You gotta figure sounds You, you gotta experiment And you know what I mean But that that's Hey bro Round of applause again yeah, bro Salute to you it, Cause that's work bro Seven years I appreciate it Most people A year in will stop Don't you know give right? up Well that's, that's the thing though bro People go into this game With like The smallest expectations possible Of the most unreal bullshit <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. you see them motherfuckers on TV, like Wiz and them, sh bro. They that shit is some real shit they live in, bro. Like you think that shit just comes from thirty Overnight. days? You know nah, what I'm saying? Like, like that, bro, that's years and years of grinding. Yeah, bro. bro. It's it's not luck that you hear. Yeah. And then like when you really start making your best product is when you just like having fun. Like right. when you feel good doing doing yeah. what you're doing is when you're making the best product that you could possibly make. So. Yeah. I ain't start feeling like that until a year ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I've been making music for fucking fifteen years now. Mm. That's a hey bro. I seen I seen also that's that a you, long time. You got that billboard too. Yeah, the billboard. Yeah, he got a billboard man. put that's up. Wild. I saw that. Hey bro. Yo, DJ Nasty man. commented on that. Man, that's you know what I mean? Yeah, Shout bro. out Nasty. Shout out to DJ Nasty. Man. You know, man, sometimes you just gotta that was more of a move like, yeah, we trying to get new people, but also you know, growing up or in the city and all that shit, like, there's so many motherfuckers that know you. And every time I see a motherfucker out, they just be like, oh, you still doing music? Like, what the right. fuck like, do what? you mean am I oh. still doing music? Yeah. You seen my shit, bitch. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm still, I'm still so doing it. That's right. one of those moves where it's like, now motherfuckers really going like, oh, shit. Abeck done made something out of himself? Let me just go peep it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's yeah. like a flexy dick type move. Like Facts. But, you know, people hold you to their own, like, expectations of themselves, bro. Facts. It's weird. Like, 
in their head, they're like, I wouldn't have waited eight years. I'd be at Amazon or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for real. Like, that's how they think. So they can't picture somebody else like, yo, he's still doing this 10 years later. Like, Well, yeah, everybody thinks it's like they just after a bag, right? Like, fact, yeah. fact. You know what's crazy, bro? It, it's really not about the I mean, you should want to become a brand. But at the same fact. time, at the same time, bro, if you don't have the love behind it, you could tell when people don't have the love behind, you yeah. know. The music or just their whatever it is that they're doing. Yeah, you know what it, I mean, it's just after the fucking bag, and that's there's no passion behind it. Hey, that bag right. sucks ass too. I don't know <laughs> yeah. what anybody told you, but for real, it's not about the money. You know, artists get fucked all the time. The music industry. Jay was telling me, you know, it's crazy. You know, it's 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 a scam sometimes if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Big facts, bro. That's, yeah, bro. Like off off of my streaming alone, bro. I've only made like 400, 500 bucks off of last year's music. Right. Like that shit ain't no bag, bro. Yeah. It's a bag when you make it into a people follow you and they want to buy your merch and mm -hmm. they want to buy your tickets. Yeah. Like they want to be involved in the brand, like in the you brand said. exactly. That that music streaming shit, that shit ain't no bag, bro. Yeah, but yeah, like bro. you gotta think about it. These artists, man, they really make their money from concerts and merch and shit like that. Motherfuckers like, were down bad these last two years, bro, yeah. and, and still, bro. still, I believe it. A lot, of, a lot of people it. going and broke. Still. You know what I mean? Because imagine you just stop making money because that's how you make your money. Right. You, know what I mean? bro, you, go, you like, go from making a hundred thousand a show and you got four or five of them bitches lined up a weekend to zero. There, there's no shows. Like you're talking about paying all your bills in a month for the year. And now you and gotta now wait you a mean, year to pay your bills. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mind that you shit the label flipped, is still bro. waiting on their shit. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah, bro, that's the other thing. It's like the independent artists, bro, I respect them so much because most people would take that upfront money. Yeah, you know what like I mean, and it's shit. like, bro, you don't understand. Like, when you're dealing with these labels, bro, you become an artist. They'll fly you out. They'll rent the car you want, but all of that shit is on your bill. At the end of the year, they're gonna be like, "Oh, this is what we made," but you're still in the red. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, crazy. Like, you owe us a quarter million dollars. You, like, you remember that? What, you thought you that, got? You thought yeah. that Lambo that we that rented for, for a week in Miami was free? You thought that the Go rent? Go ahead and run me that chain, bro. Yeah, <laughs> let me get that shit back. Run me that chain. Actually, it depreciated in value, so you still owe me five. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? bro, big facts. And you know what's crazy as fuck too? Something that I learned in the industry was like, these motherfuckers don't own these homes. Yeah, the sure. label own them homes. That's the lab that's some random white lady's name from the label that owned that fucking yeah, home. That's, that's true. a fact. That's a fact. That's all their fucking, cars, everything. Yeah, bro. That's not their fucking home. Bro, the thing is, like the industry, bro, it's like it's it's all it's all a facade at the end of the day, bro. Like the flexing and shit. Like some people are stunting. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some yeah. guys are up, but yeah. like there's a lot of guys that aren't, bro. There's a lot of people that aren't. And it's just social media helps you portray something that you want to be. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really show your real life. And we've talked about it before, but listen, man, it's, it, the industry is something that you really got to be like ready for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, got, I got a question, though. So I heard that you were running for uh, Aaron Carter. Is that true? That's facts, yes. That's true. Yeah, Aaron Carter. Round facts. of applause, bro. Aaron That's Carter, big. bro. That was the first like Justin Bieber, like, kid. What was that candy song? How'd yeah. it go? Um, I want candy. candy. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Dun, dun, dun. Man, that I wanted that shit, I wanted bro. to be that kid, bro. I <laughs> had the hair. Believe it or not, I had the hair too, bro. Yeah, I remember. You had the bro, You know cut. what's wild too is like, now that I think about that time, like this shit just popped on me. Y'all remember they had a kid American Idol? Did y'all remember that? I don't remember. There that. Was, wasn't there like a kid there was American like two Idol? Two seasons of Kid American Idol, really? Because of like Aaron Carter and all that shit was popping off. That's crazy. I didn't. I didn't know about that. Yeah, it's cr crazy. it's crazy to think about how one person could shift the culture like that, bro. Bro, it's like, wild. Like there was nobody, no kid doing some shit singly like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that I was mean, on a larger level than Bow Wow to me. Yeah, I, no, no. It what? I think well, I do really. at least musically. Yeah. I'm gonna just say yeah, musically. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it, it reached because Bow Wow and Romeo was popping off as kid artists. Yeah, he but was. like Aaron Carter walked anywhere in the world at that time and played that joint. That's, you know a fact. Like, That's a fact. You can go anywhere and play that joint. Man, nah, I, for real. I haven't heard that name in a while, though. You know what I mean? People forgot about him. But you know what? Hey, it looks like he's doing all right. You know what I mean? I he's mean, still he's, going. I don't. He's still. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing him, bro. He's, still, he's, he's doing him. He's doing his thing. Got a crib and, and Cali. 
Paid for it. That ain't cheap, dog. Yeah, no, man, <laughs> that ain't cheap. cheap. cheap you chilling. Oh. You better relate, than most people. He's related to somebody, I think, too. Nick that's, Carter. Yeah, Nick Carter. Yeah, wasn't he from uh, what he? NSYNC? I think yeah, NSYNC. or Backstreet. 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 Yeah, I used to man, I used to love Backstreet Boys, man. I ain't gonna bro, lie to you. All that music was legendary, bro. Growing up, man, I love really that really shit. Bro, motherfuckers don't even know that shit came out of Orlando, dog. Yeah, I, I Backstreet Boys are from Orlando. What? Yep. I don't know. Of applause to the O, bro. Yeah, what? Bro, like, I don't know yeah. if they like was born and raised here, but it was orchestrated. Here. Yeah, like they. Yeah. Wow, I didn't Fetch. know that. Wow, you learn something new every day. Like the studio I be at sometimes. Yeah. I don't know if you see on my IG. That's that's like the studio they was at. Like mm. their oh, plaques shit. on the fucking wall, like that's Moon Mans crazy, and shit. Easy, bro. That's, that's a big amazing. deal, bro. That's a big deal because they were known worldwide. I'm talking about people worldwide. sleep on the O, man. Yeah, people do yeah. sleep on the O, man. For real, bro, Orlando's big, bro. There's so much money that comes through here. So many celebrities. So like, it's just. I'm telling you, bro. Orlando's a really good place to get noticed. Nice. Why do you think Glock, not Hot Boy, all these guys? Like, there's so many guys That's popping the off. Hottest sound out too. Facts. There's guys in yeah. Texas that are looking at Florida. They want to be like that. There's guys in Texas looking at Florida like, what's the next thing popping? Yeah, bro. Like, County, you know, Kodak. Yeah, bro. Like, all, yeah. bro, Florida Florida is different, man. Hey, but you got to, somebody got to give Kodak his flowers, though. Bro. Somebody, man. he really birthed all that all, shit. Yeah. All of to them me, are his sons. Yeah. All of them. To me, all he them. birthed that real ratchet, like, Florida real sound. gangster yeah. Florida rap. Like, seriously. That's a fact. He brought that shit back. Before yeah. that, it was like. Trick Daddy and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Troy, like, like back in the day, like yeah, Trick Daddy. But now uh, it's like. Maybe Mook Boy. Maybe. What was the, what was the other dude back in the local. day? I'm a Florida boy. Papa Duck. Papa he was Duck. a big Papa ass Duck. artist that nobody, like. Nobody really paid attention yeah, to. Yeah, bro, him. but that's that Florida shit. Yeah. Yo, yes, whoop. Man. He got Whoop. Whoop, whoop was hot. Whoop, whoop was bro. hot for a while. The, but you know what's crazy? Like, I try to show, like, Florida hip hop to other people. From outside of Florida, and they think it's like trash. Like they don't get, they don't get it. It's and like it's so funny because like in two years they'll be on that. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's a fact, bro. But yeah, bro. There's so many Florida artists. Shout out to Ace Hood too, man. Oh like, yeah, Ace Hood. Sleep on I, I Ace, forgot dog. about Ace. Ace man. was my guy. Ace. Like, oh yeah, Ace, Ace was Hood from guy. Miami. There's, a, there's another big ass artist in Orlando, D Boy. Y'all D-boy. heard of him? Nah, bro. You gotta peep him, bro. That yeah. Crazy, bro. D boy, but he's D-boy. like lyrically crazy though. Like, but it's a different type of Florida sound. That's that. Mm. That's that that's Florida that big riding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, yeah. This motherfucker talking that shit. I well, love that. Also, shit, bro. I know that you know you be performing in like clubs and stuff like that. Uh, big facts. What was the craziest thing you ever experienced? You know, just performing at a club. Like people jumping off the stage, maybe trying to like girls throwing panties. Maybe, and shit. maybe you know what's yeah. wild is like it's it wasn't really in the fucking in the venue, but outside. And y'all know this about Orlando. Yeah. There's a the lot of wild. fucking homeless motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to have a good time in Orlando, you stay outside the venues. Facts. And you just gonna have the time of your life, bro. Like outside <laughs> yeah. one venue, I was performing at like. What's the uh, keys to the city or some shit? Yeah, yeah, ke- yeah, keys to the city. <laughs> yeah, bro, I yeah. see this big motherfucker They're working huge. for keys to the city. Fucking knock a dude out in the middle of the road on bro, Pine Street. Bro. Everybody like, just if, dead at him. If you had a jacket for keys to the city, you were bigger than like seven. Foot. Everyone, yeah, bigger. he was like bigger than everyone. He used to work for That's keys crazy. to the city. I believe it. You big, it's a bro. big yeah, motherfucker. Bro. Yeah, listen, I, shit. listen. Them big dudes, bro. We get to it, dog. Yeah, Damn, we get to it, bro. Me, bro. <laughs> Listen, bro. I ain't no fighter, bro. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. Yeah, I'm a lover. No facts, bro. Facts. And that's cool, though, man. Like, like we were saying off camera, you got to know yourself, bro. It's yeah. cool to be yourself. Like, if you're not the smoker, you're not the drinker, you're not the fighter. Like, it's cool, bro. You don't have to be. Facts, you know what I'm saying, bro. like, just be Make you. Make sure you dog. roll with somebody facts. that could. Yeah, exactly. If you're rolling nah, by yourself real, talking real. shit, because I be talking shit, and I'll back myself up. But if I see a motherfucker like this guy right here come up to me, I'll be like, nah, you got it, bro. Yeah, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm the liable one, bro. I'm the one to fucking go out there and make a really bad decision, and now we all gotta. Yeah, pay we all gotta fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody gotta pay for my shit, for real. But now, nah, man, like going back to the club thing, like you gotta be like a different type of person to just take a shit in the club and then come back out and party with your boys. Like I don't know, nah, I be bro. feeling like nah. Go home. Go home after that, bro. I gotta take a shit at the house. <laughs> yeah, I can't be fact. taking shit at like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't even like pissing in the club, bro. Yeah, yeah like it's for just, real. I don't want to touch nothing in there, bro. It just straight up. Smells. You yeah. know what my 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 thing is too, bro. Like one, I don't I'm I don't, I don't like smelly shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so me neither. Oh, I know. In the club, <laughs> dropping a deuce. 
That's completely ruining my night. That's a violation, bro. Two, also, it's like if somebody in there throwing up, I ain't trying to be in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, so, throw up smell is different. Oh my dog. god, in the club, Hell too. No. Club bathrooms smell like nah, you they gotta, ain't been clean in forty years. They yeah. haven't. You a different breed, bro. To be like sitting down, like bare <laughs> ass to toilet, <laughs> shitting in the club, just, <laughs> like like you, nah, you bare ass to toilet, bro. You're please, savage, you know what? That's dog. some white people shit. <laughs> Not for real. It is That's some white. And I can say shit. that I'm half white. You know hey, what I mean? John, I can hey, say that. Hey Johnny, is that the new fucking chain smokers joint? <laughs> yeah. Damn, this DJ's going off, dude. For real, bro. You touching feet and shit. Yeah, you bro. Feet. Hey, you got any extra paper over there, brother? Yeah, for real. Nah, man, and they only have like that one fucking toilet that has some space, so you go yes. in there, Everything and then you walk up. in, and then it's the most dirtiest one, obviously. Bro, always. you know, it's, it's the old. one that's like clogged up, bro. The shit's overflowing. There's like three turds in there already. <laughs> it's like fuck, dog. Like dude, just bang the chick in this bitch. <laughs> for real, bro. bro. Like it's some crazy shit that be going on in the club. Have clubs, you ever seen man. a motherfucker shit in the club? I don't think I've ever I don't witnessed I've, that, I've never bro. seen legs pants down. I haven't bro. seen that in a bro. long time, that bro. Shit. <laughs> and if, I bro, God, I leave I that motherfucker that alone if no, I do. No, no. You listen, That's man. A, a you take a piss killer. and get out. You get out of Dodge ASAP, bro. My, my dog <laughs> straight up. My dog. dog just spent six hundred dollars in VIP. I think he deserves <laughs> to take a shit. You know what? Give me the. Give me the. No, matter of fact, let him use the ladies' yeah, bathroom. No, not let even that. Let him use the ladies' bathroom. Where's, that shit's dirtier than the guys. Where's the I Where's the employee? So. I bro. want the employee bathroom. Hey, yeah, how much did the mo- how is it fucked up, bro? You know they got them dudes in the bathroom at the club selling cigarettes and and perfume and shit like, <laughs> right? <laughs> don't oh, tell I've me seen that. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't tell me that motherfucker only get paid on tips. No, nah, he does, bro. Nah. And you know what? He'd be like, there's my no way I would ever work that fucking job. Oh, bro, bro he'd be giving me a couple bumps and shit, like for free. And I'm, just, I'm just like, bro, chill, no, bro. He wants way, that bro. tip for real. Yeah, hey, no, yeah. you trying to go above and beyond, dog? <laughs> hey, bro, I get you this bump, throw me a little ten. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, bro, but he be putting like new ports in my mouth and shit. Like, I'm trying to wash my hands. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, bro, oh, no, that's an extra service. You want to hold my balls while I'm taking a fucking <laughs> yeah. piss, too? Like, he what are you doing? He puts fucking soap in my hand and shit to what walk. The yeah, fuck? he wants that tip. Bro. Nah, he's a creep. No, I'm sorry. I would, I would like a tip too, but I ain't going over I, there fucking washing your hands for you. Shit. I, I nah. felt like Batman, bro. I felt like Batman with the fucking servant. He's just there. He's like a fucking doctor. <laughs> like my shoe needs a fucking wiping too. Like yeah. while you're at it, Jesus. Yeah. So it's bro. a lot of it's a lot of crazy shit that happens in the club bathroom, mm-hmm. bro. The club bathrooms are just something that you want to stay away from yeah, stay unless you really it. unless you unless you want to be forced to smoke a Newport and get a fucking <laughs> <laughs> I haven't spent much time in the club bathroom. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, damn yeah, bro. I got like one or two memories in that bitch. Yeah, 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 there bro. were enough. There were enough to not go back, dog. Bro. Nah man. But yeah, man, you know, talking about the industry and you know, all these people that you meet, you know, you only have like a select few of people that you really keep around that you know that's really genuine and stuff like that. Facts. Um, you know, I was talking to to Heck and shit like that about friends and inventing. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know, you can only vent to certain friends because you know, people like different friends serve different purposes. Facts. You know, so like sometimes you you vent to, to somebody and they'll use that against you in the future. That's you know, a fact. Um, how do you how do you separate the people from you know being genuine and like how do you know from people that are just trying to just hop on hop on board? Be a, be it's, a bandwagon. It's time for me. Like how much time we spend together, and then like it's like what the context of what we talk about. Right. Like if I say I'm gonna say some fucking fucked up shit, <laughs> they shouldn't leave the room. Yeah. Right. Right. But. If you can say some more fucked up shit that shouldn't leave the room, then I know you. I can trust you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if, if we both in the fucking shitter together, then... Real shit. Yeah, bro. This is this a solid dude. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yo, we, yo, we both did some fucked up <laughs> shit. Hey, bro. You know hey. what I mean? But, hey, bro... <laughs> I know you. I know you can't afford to let this one out. So <laughs> no, I mean, for fuck, we both <laughs> in the same boat. <laughs> Real shit. Or, or I feel like there's um there's like certain friends that you can talk about certain things to. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like. That might be your boy, but you're not going to talk about fucking what your other homeboy did in the group. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Real talk. Exactly. Yeah, bro. It's, it's true, man. Like, different different friends serve different purposes, bro, and that's okay. Like, there's certain people that you might get upset with because you're like, damn, bro, he didn't, you know what I'm saying? He ain't hearing me out, whatever. It's like, well, that's not that friend for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's going to be another person that will hear you out, give you the advice you might be looking for. Or tell you the fucking truth, you know? Facts. Because that's the other thing, too. People want to... A lot of people want to keep people around them that are yes-men. That 
like just yeah. like want to agree with you and it's like nah bro you need those real friends are the ones that are like bro you're fucking up yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying like tighten up type shit like, you fucking up for real for real and Perfect. like that's that's that takes a real friend to really do that facts that's facts to really pull you aside and be like yo bro hey back man you fucking up bro yeah. like yo bro like I ain't I ain't feeling what you did here and there and you know vice versa you know what I mean like that's like that that kind of goes back to like music right like if I'm a I'm a share and I do this shit on purpose. Like, I'll send a record to, like, five of my boys, right? And I know the only two that I'm going to listen to is going to be my brother and my boy, Dev. Because they're going to be the only ones that really listen that to tell it. me some shit like, bro, you fucking was off on <laughs> time stamp fucking one minute and 27. That shit was garbage. Facts. Like, that you know drop was Everybody trash. Everybody else is going to be like... One, they probably not even gonna listen to They're it. They're not gonna listen to it, of course. <laughs> or two, they just gonna be like, "Bro, that shit was hard, bro." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's a fact. Like, That's a fact. I think the thing that comes with friends and shit is just like accepting people for who they are. Yeah, we exactly. We gotta stop holding people to like. Like if that's just that who that motherfucker is, then that's just who he is, dog. Yeah, Yo, bro. that's that's really hard to really like. It's accept the hardest. That, bro. You can't bro. change people, dog. Yeah, you, like you can't change people. You can only change how you like treat them, how, how you let them into your life and shit. You yeah, know what I'm facts. saying? Because, bro, everybody's everybody's themselves, and everybody's gonna make their own choices at the end of the day, bro. Like there's certain friends and shit that you know I try giving advice to over and over and over for years, bro, and it's like. It, it, you can lead a horse change, to water, bro. but you can't make them drink, and that's the truest shit ever, bro. Like, yeah, it, you just gotta accept them for it. Like, you, yeah, you either gonna be cool with them still, or you just yeah. Not oh no, be of cool course, I'm gonna yeah. be cool with you, but it's like uh, my advice. Like, I'm wasting my breath. Yeah, like, I want the, the best for you, you and apparently you don't want the best for yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, hurt myself by keep fucking dragging this shit because I'm thinking about the shit more than you are. Exactly. <laughs> like, you don't even care. Right. You want you know the team I mean? up. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody don't have that like team mentality too, bro. Like. When you're building a team, bro, you can't have selfish people. You can't have, you know what I'm saying? Lazy everybody, yeah, shit. everybody got to play their part. Everybody got to do what they do. And I say it all the time, bro. You got to do what you do best and delegate the rest. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Like, it's like, do what you do best, bro. If you're not, if you're not the guy that's like into this, bro, you can help out doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's different ways of everybody picking up part of the slack. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And some motherfuckers just want to be here along for the ride, bro. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, you got to weed those people out. But like you yeah. said, going back to the main point, like it's true, bro. That time that you put in with people, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what builds it. And you might honestly. meet a motherfucker in a different, like me, I, I change like the seasons, bro. Like I'm always up and down. So facts. What's like, your zodiac? You, you, What's your zodiac? I'm a I'm a Virgo. Bro. Oh, he's really, a Virgo. Me and hey, Virgos don't, don't get along. Yo, you're fucking it. Let's go. Yo, he's the first. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, back. You're the first Virgo I actually vibe with, bro. Appreciate that, man. That's yeah, crazy. bro. I'm a you Gemini, bro. I don't fucking follow none of that shit. Yo, bro, facts. He's like that too. Me too. I'm a Leo, but I'm just like, bro, you're like that too. Live my life. Yeah, bro, facts. You can't. Every time I get to talking to a girl, she be like, oh. What's shining yeah. you? I'm like, I'm a Virgo. That's then she start telling me about myself. Like, bitch, you don't even know me. Yeah. <laughs> you like, you say Virgos shit. breathe when they wake up. It's like, yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. Like, everybody yeah, does. You know what I'm saying? It's it. like the most random general shit. Yo. Oh, so you like to drink soda. <laughs> Oh, you're yes, a Gemini? Like, I remember I went out to eat to dinner and somebody, like, checked my ID for, for a drink and she's like, oh, you're a Gemini. I was like, wow, you don't Jesus. even know me. Hey, you don't the even only know thing me. I know about that shit, though, is y'all Geminis are, are fucking wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's the are. only thing I believe about signs is, like, yeah, Geminis, nah. they're fucking wild. Yeah, yeah, they go through little mood swings and shit. Yeah, yeah, we want to beat people over and then we want to love <laughs> you. My dog it's said crazy. that. He's yeah. calling yeah. bullshit in the back. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most. You a Gemini, too? Hey. Oh, bro. <laughs> That's the yeah, craziest bro. motherfucker I know in the world. <laughs> we crazy, bro. We lovers, though. We love hey, people, but don't bullshit. fuck with us. Yeah, no, 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 bullshit. Y'all yeah. love multiple people at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we do. We yeah. do. We do. do. Yes, we can, we can don't be, like y'all, <laughs> bro. We can be married, but you know what? I'm gonna just fuck fucking Becky you know over here. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. just knock down fucking <laughs> Becky <laughs> over here. Yeah, I'm over hey, man. Shit. It is what it is. I feel you though, 100%. Bro. Nah, bro. That Zodiac is dying shit is bullshit to Facts, me, bro. I'm sorry. You, got, you got kids? You got kids? You started talking about what's your uh, moon sign? Yeah, it's like, I don't fucking, I don't know. fucking know, dog. Looks like a, is that half full? What is that? <laughs> nah, but hey, man, quick question, because we got, a, we got a couple minutes, but I know you got a couple kids, man. I know Jay's a father. I know you're a father as well. 
I don't have kids. Me and Low Key don't have kids. Round of applause to for the fathers in the room, man. Thanks, man. man. Thanks, um, bro. <laughs> you know how when you you got to watch out for kids, man. Facts, especially nowadays, and you know who you leave them around. It's a you scary know, some people, world, bro. yeah, scary world, bro. And some people don't realize, like you know, you got to watch out who you bring your kids to. Mm-hmm. You know, because like you can't just like turn your back on them, but also with like children as well. You know, let's say that you have a friend that raises their children a different way, and you raise your your children a certain way. You know what I mean? Like, you still got to watch your watch your back because sometimes kids are more like they're more exposed to other kids. Uh, what's what's your opinion about that? Like, do you, do you agree with that hundred percent? So I'm gonna or? tell y'all like this: I got a three year old and a one year old, but my three year old, what I notice is like when he goes around like all his cousins, like he'll pick up one of their like tendencies mm-hmm. and he'll like either talk like them or act like them and some shit and to me it's like bro the, you know how we say like oh you got to be careful about the people around the adults around the kids right yeah. totally agree but more importantly it's like what are them those adults that taught their kids so there's some kids out here like remember on youtube like that that crazy shit that was going on mm-hmm. like where the fucking person was popping up and people was throwing their kids were throwing their brothers in the fucking oven and shit yeah yeah, bro. That's like, crazy. Like, your kid will pick that shit up from another kid in no time, bro. Yeah. No time. Yeah. Mm. So, like, to me, kids that they're around are way more dangerous. Yeah. Because that's that's their age group teaching them shit. Yeah, yeah. they don't know shit. Yeah. Nobody knows yeah. shit, and they're teaching each other nonsense. Yeah. Like, that's really what the fuck <laughs> is going on at that age. What the other one's so I, re- yeah, I remember being in fifth grade, fourth grade, kids already having sex already. Yeah. Doing, tu- do, you know, touching yeah. and doing yeah, all this stuff. Playing house and like, shit. You know? And, you know, it's happened to me personally. That's why, like, I'm really cautious about it. Like, you know, like, I don't have kids yet, but, like, I really look into that because I'm just like, man, like, it's true. Nah, bro. Yeah, I remember being, like, six years old playing house with, like, you know, next door neighbor. Facts. Yeah, show me a titty. You know what I mean? Like, fucking something. Yeah, and, like, you shouldn't even be thinking like that, bro. But, like, it's crazy. You do. Because we guys. (laughs) But, like, bro, I'm so blessed to have two boys, dog, because having a girl in this world ain't no fucking way. Bro. No way. Bro. Round of applause to the fathers that have little girls, man. That shit, it Bless must be tough. Heart. I'd, I'd go crazy, yeah. bro. Jay has two girls. He has one that's 13. I pray for you, dog. Two girls and three boys, right? Oh, so you so really, you really going through it. Yeah, 15? yeah, yeah. Mm, you going that was 13, through it, bro. That's that age. That's crazy. Wow, I'll just go fine. ahead and knock myself off before I got to deal with that shit. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. Mouth. Oh, well, my nah. three boys, though, my, two, my youngest one, he a killer. Yeah. And the other ones, so I don't worry, they'll take care of it. They got they're real close. So I was like, I gotta get my hands dirty. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. good because you got the older brothers. Yeah, that's my, always good. Twelve year old's the size of he's probably your size. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. big. He's, big. he's, he's big only big like eleven, big. right? He's like eleven? Twelve, Twelve no. Yeah, man. Yeah, nah, you definitely gotta watch out for other people, for other people's kids and things that you got you just gotta watch your children and what they're picking up, how they're starting to act, like the little lingo they come home with and shit. Cause bro, I remember being young and saying certain shit that like was disrespectful and would have probably got my ass whooped, but my mom checked me like, yo, don't say that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like Like, don't say that outside this house because you're gonna get fucked up. Yeah, for real. I mean, like but yeah, man, it's just part of life, guys. Shout out to everybody that has kids, for yeah, sure. Shout out. But listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. And listen, man, ABEG, we appreciate you coming through, brother. For and sure, uh, bro. it's been a pleasure, bro, for sure. Always, for sure. man. Thank yeah. y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we'll, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace.